Hello. So we're doing a little bit of a departure. Departure from my normal uh, routine today. Um, I am going to do a more traditional vlog uh, and edit it together because I had some fun last night editing some vlogs up. I posted uh, three, I think, which will cover the next three days. Cover today, tomorrow, and Saturday. I'm gonna do a couple more tonight once I get back. And I'm actually heading out right now to run some errands. Uh, I'm gonna go get a haircut. Gonna go over and get some odds and ends from um, <clears throat> from uh, Home Depot because Mom and I want to build a uh, sorry, adjustment. Adjustment. There we go. Sorry. Uh, we want to build a uh, patio by the uh, door to the basement. So my sister can put down a little table, chairs, stuff like that. So I'm heading over there now, and uh, it's my day off. My one, my 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 one real day off this week. I have today off, and I work through the next Thursday, but then I have Saturday off. So it's like kind of quick. Actually, I got a couple days real quick in a row. I got um, I got uh, Thursday off next week. Then I have Saturday and Sunday off. And then I have Tuesday off. So it's like I'm working seven days. Then I have a day off, work a day, two days off, work a day, another day off. So I'm going to be fairly rested by the end of that week. So yeah, I'm going to head over and see uh, what exactly mom needs me to pick up from from there, I uh, might go over to Costco as well and uh, see what they got there. And I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to enjoy the fact that I have a day open. I can't go too far because I have to, you know, I got to get this stuff. But, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, one of those days where I'm hoping to get some actual work done. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good. This vlog is going to look a little bit weird because I'm going to be using my GoPro. I'm going to be using my flip cam as well. And uh, two different size um, images, two different resolutions. Uh, but I'll do my best to get everything to kind of cut together uh, properly. And we'll just see how it turns out. Um, getting closer to Penzik. I uh, just started my Penzik prep the other day with making my first batch of Prince Biscuit. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking about buying myself a little portable sewing machine because I have, have a pair of pants that uh, the seam didn't tear out, but the threading all let. let all kind of died at the same time so I have to fix that and I don't know if mom's sewing machines working so I really want to go get one of my own just a little portable one I can pop on a table and work with uh, and they're not too expensive they're only like 60 bucks but I'm gonna be heading out to that direction anyways to, you know Walmart's out there so I'll see what I get um, yeah So I feel like such an idiot right now. I go in to mom's work to see what she might need at Costco and she just, we're talking about the trip, you know, the field trip that James is going on today. And I realize I forgot to pack him a towel and a change of clothes. And I feel like such an idiot because we were, I was trying to get him everything ready and he was asking me questions and I was trying to find his, um, his, um, his water shoes because of the material that they have at the bottom. And I just completely forgot to put his, uh, to, to put his towel and change of clothes in his bag. And I just feel like such an idiot. Because he's going to have to, he's, I mean, I know that they have towels at these places, 
that you can get. I mean, it's it's a water park. They have towels. I, I hope they have towels. Uh, but I just feel so awful because I completely forgot about it, and I've never, ever done that before. Every single trip that he's ever been on, every single field trip he's ever gone on, despite the fact that if I've gone with him or not, I've always made certain he's had everything, and I just, I don't. of the type of person I am until he gets home I'm gonna feel awful because of that and I'm gonna feel like an idiot and I'm, I know it sounds bad but now I'm gonna worry about how the, the school kind of views me because I forgot to give him his towel an appointment for my hair and in Walmart now to see about finding the uh, <coughs> the uh, sewing machine. I was a cast and I get back up there before it starts raining or whatnot so I can get home in time. Because it's 11.59 I need to be back in Milton by 3 o'clock to pick James up. Costume change halfway through the day. Haircuts all done. Looking good. So I'm now down to get the sewing machine again. So if you go online to Walmart's webpage, the sewing machine I was looking at is $59.88. If you go to get it in the store, it's $73. So I ordered it online, and now I just gotta go pick it up. I, as long as it's actually all set up, it should be by now. Because they have it in stock, because I saw it there. So that's our next stop. We recording again? Good. So. This has been a day where I have a good thing happen, followed by a bad thing happening. This morning, uh, I was able to get a lot of stuff done around the house, and you know, I got all the dishes done so mom didn't have to do that. That was a good thing. Then, of course, everything that happened with James, with me forgetting his stuff, was a bad thing. I go out and finally get my hair cut, which, you know, uh, not really a good thing, but it was kind of just something I've been needing to get done, so that's kind of good that I got it done. And as I'm backing out my parking spot, some jag off in a, uh, in, you know, in the parking lot, speeds around the corner and misses my bumper by like two or three inches. So that sucked. But, um, while, you know, I checked my email after that to find that, uh, I got an increase of in my credit rating credit uh yeah my credit not rating credit limit for one of my credit cards they increased by three thousand dollars which is really good because that'll help my credit rating a lot but then i get over to walmart to go pick up the um sewing machine because i went through and i did the site to store pickup because it was like 15 16 bucks cheaper to do it that way so I go up to them and I said, yeah, I haven't gotten my email yet, but I'm kind of, I need to head, I need to go, you know, I, I have someplace I have to be by this time. Um, can you check? Oh yeah, they, they go and they, you know, I'm waiting and I'm waiting and they come back maybe about 20 minutes and it's like, what's going, you know, um, 
I, I you know, I say I'm sorry that it's been a big, you know, my order has been a pain in the ass, and you know they go through and it, it's asking for the serial number, but every time they scan the serial number to try to get it set up so I to release it to me, it uh, says invalid serial number. So they tell me, oh yeah, you know, you have to, you know, you know, you can cancel the order and then it'll, your money will be put back onto your card in 72 hours, but we can we can price match it now. And I'm thinking to myself, no, I'm not going to price match it now. I don't want, you know, to pay twice the amount, even if I'm going to get half of it back in a couple days. And because I don't often do things on Walmart's website, I didn't create an account. I just signed in as a guest. I can't even uh, cancel the order that way. So I have the order number. I have to call Walmart's 800 number, ask them to cancel the transaction. Then I got to wait 72 hours to get my money back. And considering that they won't even start processing it until tomorrow, which is Friday, I'm not getting my money back till next Wednesday. So it's like one of those things where it's a good thing happening and a bad thing happening. So I'm kind of ticked off by that. So I got to wait. I wanted to, to do some, tonight's my, you know, I, I don't have to work tonight. So I wanted to actually use the sewing machine to make some, some pouches and some bags uh, to see if uh, I might be able to sell it at an event that's uh, next month. But of course I can't do it if I don't have it. I don't mind making them by hand, but it's just very time consuming and I wanted to try to get a bunch done at the same time. How's my hair look? Sorry about the venting. But sometimes you just gotta vent. Alright, so end of the day, I spent an hour almost in Walmart. I did the order on the sewing machine and they weren't able to pick to, to do a pick on it every just they just couldn't do it and uh instead of just letting me take it because i paid for it you know they said oh you gotta call the walmart 800 number to cancel the transaction so i went from there to to get james uh unfortunately his Field trip was supposed, I was told it was supposed to be back at normal time. They didn't get back until 4.45. So I was, I sat at the school for two hours waiting for him to get there. So that kind of killed the rest of my afternoon. Uh, on the upside, I was able to uh, just go online and cancel the transaction for Walmart. So I didn't get charged for it. And then I passed out in the chair after getting us dinner. We, we all got Subway. So this is my first non-five-minute vlog in a while. Um, I hope it went well. You know, I didn't get everything done I wanted to get done today. and I don't know. I just don't seem to be able to get much done lately. But he was fine. You know, they had a towel for him to use, and he dried out. He actually slept the, the entire time, you know, entire trip back from um, from the water park. So, yeah. So I'm going to see about getting another video or two put together to post and then I'm going to go to bed so I will see you guys at the next time I've, I record. Bye.